What do you have to say for yourself? You want coffees. Well, you know, I always have a really hard time getting this to stabilize. Anyways. Hello, welcome back to Vlogmas. We are almost to finals week here. Quinny, what do you have to say for yourself? Gonna fail. That was an optimistic. <laughs> um, we're going to go study a little bit at Starbucks and then go back. She has to work. So maybe I'll do something afterwards worthwhile, but I just figured I'd document this. And I really hope the footage isn't really shaky. Every time I have really shaky footage and I try to fix it and it just ends up being really blurry and weird. <laughs> Meet Abby. Hi. What are we doing today? We're leading chapel <laughs> today. We <laughs> have a natural camera presence, can't you tell? Yes. <laughs> we can tell. You should create your own YouTube channel. Like over there. <laughs> I really am a vlogger. She really is. Amazing. <laughs> so today Abby's leading chapel. So are you. Well, yeah, I guess. With the with the little keys. Yeah. I'm on the piano. And Abby's a guitar major. Wait. Mm -hmm. Music major. Yes. Guitar emphasis. Yes, correct. Okay, cool. And she's from Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you say it like that? If any of you are from Missouri, comment down below. I'm just in a practice room right now at school. Sometimes I like to go here and just play music, um, write songs. Excuse me. And I really need to introduce you to 
my boyfriend. He really means so much to me. I know that's kind of random, but he was actually in chapel today doing some work. And yeah, he's just, he's a really important person in my life. And so he kind of needs a proper introduction. I don't want to just throw him in a random clip. Um, although I do have some random clips of us together. Um, yeah. So anyways, side note. I was up last night. This is my story time. Last night. I went out on a date with my lover. And basically we went out to the Spanish restaurant. It was actually really good. It's called Haleo in the city. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but yeah, something didn't sit right with me. And then at 2 a.m., I am having this dream that I'm throwing up. And I wake up from my dream and I have a fear of throwing up, like big fear, big, big, big fear for me. Anyway, so I get up, my mouth is all dry. I feel like I taste vomit in my mouth, like in my throat. I literally start shaking like a leaf because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, am I gonna throw up? And I'm like, my roommate's asleep down there. So I'm like, all right, I need to get out of my room because I'm not gonna get sick in here and wake her up. Take my blankie with me, take my pillow with me and take my Bible out into the lounge because I was like, no one is awake right now. I have no one to help me. But I'm really scared, like this is when I'm the most scared and no one's here and I felt so alone. And I was like, God, I just need you to be with me. And I'm not gonna lie, it was really hard for me to focus on scripture when I was like, you know, going through the thick of it. And I ended up finding rest and comfort in Psalm 34. It was, it was really what I needed and it did help calm me down. So anyways. It was actually a good chapel. I'm glad that it went well. It didn't bomb. I'm getting kind of um, what I like to call distracted. And I'm about to wash my face, even though I just sat down to study again, because I decided that I wanted to kill two birds with one stone. Well, I've studied and do a nose pore strip. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, Taylor, you know those things. Either A, don't work, B, make your pores come back with a vengeance, or C, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I've found that nose pore strips also don't do anything for me. But boy, are they satisfying. And to me, the fact that they're satisfying is almost worth it. Take it, kind of tear it off a little and just pop this sucker on. And while I'm studying for 15 minutes, my pores will be stripped of good riddance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I guess just leave it on for 15 minutes till it's dry to the touch. Time to study. Ugh, I'm a sucker for stuff like this. I love self-care things. And you know what? I really need to go to Lush before I leave the city because I'm just gonna say it, I'm a sucker for Lush. They got me hook, line, and sinker. It's really just like overpriced baking soda that you put in your bathtub. Have my laptop here with my notes. I'm just gonna toot away.
update. It is currently the following day, actually two days later. And I'm about to head to a coffee shop with my friend Quinn, our last coffee shop before the end of the semester. And we're gonna do some more finals, some more work for finals, and then head back to school. And she has work and yeah. I decided to get a tonic espresso with lemon. Mm -hmm. That's really good.